Hello and welcome back and if you're joining us for the first time I'm Brian and uh, I'm here to show you how to do some batch rendering using uh, compressor on the Mac. Now um, what we did in our first video was we created a bunch of After Effects files from template digital templates and we rendered them out through the render queue as uncompressed files. So they're huge, uh, they're not what the client wants, how do we get those files to uh, a more manageable size. And this is something that a lot of uh, motion graphics professionals don't know how to do. Um, not that they couldn't learn or, or anything, it's just that they're so busy with the After Effects, they, who has time to learn about bit rates and file formats and codecs. And um, so I'm just gonna take you through quickly uh, how to use Compressor. So as you can see here, you've got Compressor uh, up and running. The first thing we can do is drag MPEG-2 program stream into the main window. Now we can change the video format to HD 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate to 23.98. Then we should go to the quality tab and set the quality to around 25 megabits per second. Uh, that's a little bit compressed, but it should retain almost all the information of the video and you can keep it as your archive format. Now after you're done setting that, now we can save these settings as uh, archive-mpeg2-1080p24-25 megabits per second. Uh, and what this does is it allows us to identify what the format is used for, what the codec is, and uh, the frame size, frame rate, and bit rate. Let's go ahead and create another archive format, this time more compressed by once again dragging program stream to the main project window. We're going to use the same settings as last time, except that uh, this time we're going to compress it to 10 megabits per second. Now when we save these settings, we'll save it as archive-mpeg2-1080p24, 10 megabits per second. But what if we wanted a highly compressed format for YouTube? We'll scroll down to choose the QuickTime H.264 codec. H.264 is probably the codec out there right now that produces the highest fidelity for its bitrate. Let's go ahead and drag it into the main window. Because we're using QuickTime to compress the file, bringing up the video settings opens up a completely different window. Here we're going to set the data rate to 4 megabits per second, which is a good trade-off between quality and file size for 720p video. After we're done with the video, the next step is to set the audio to AAC at a target bit rate of 128 kilobits per second. We then need to adjust our frame size, so we click on the Geometry tab to set the frame size to 1920 by 720 or 720p. The YouTube can handle 1080p, but I usually find that to be overkill. We can then save the setting as YouTube.h.264-720p24 and 4 megabits per second. Finally, there's the iPod format. Since we already saved the format for YouTube, we can just go and edit the same settings, changing the frame size to 320 by 240. We then head back to our video settings, uh, change the bitrate to 200 kilobits per second. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. Uh, because 320 by 240 is a 43 aspect ratio and our project is 69, we have to edit the pixel aspect to 1.333 so it produces the proper widescreen video when it's played back. Now we can save it as iPod H264 240p24 200 kilobytes per second. Now that we've saved all our render settings, we can start our batch processing. First, we clear the main window and then we drag the files that we want to convert into the main window. We can then select the four settings we saved earlier and drag all of them into the main window. Now to start the batch processing, all you have to do is click Submit and hit Submit again when the dialog pops up. Then if you want to check on your rendering progress, just uh, hit the batch monitor and that'll give you a overview of how far each one of your projects is uh, taking to render. 
Anyway, uh, I hope that you found this useful. If you are not using a Mac, then you're probably going to want to check out the other video that we did where we use Sony Vegas and Veggie Toolkit to much the same effect. Um, thank you for watching and uh, hope to hear from you soon.